St John's has been partnering with Andrew and Maria Leake for many years. They work for Church Mission Society in its Creation Care Ministry and with Compassion International. Andrew grew up among the indigenous people and has spent his life trying to protect their culture and ecology. They have three children, Thomas, who's an aeronautical engineer, Ceci, who's a lawyer, and Carolina, who's studying to become a vet. Unlike us, who have documents to show we own or lease our homes, communities in this region have no papers showing that they've lived there for centuries. They've spent years talking to the government about the land they believe is rightly theirs. Without it, they're unable to gather food or natural medicines from the forest because areas have been fenced off by logging and mining companies and they can't fish because rivers have been polluted by cattle. Earlier this year, with Andrew's help, Francisco Perez and Rogelia Segundo represented these communities at the Inter-American Court of Human Rights and finally won a legal battle that's been going on for 22 years. The Argentine government must now grant land rights to an area of forest the size of Sussex. It's about 1,500 square miles. But stopping illegal logging remains a real issue. These loggers use enormous machines that devastate the tropical forest forever. This Google Earth video shows how our forests are being lost. The loss of tropical forests has a massive effect on climate. To stop a global temperature rise of more than 1.5 degrees centigrade, deforestation needs not only to be stopped in Argentina, but around the world by 2030, that's less than 10 years. And we need to plant millions of trees to replace those that we're losing. It's a massive challenge. Andrew and Maria are playing an important part in stopping deforestation in Argentina by protecting the land for local people. But what can we do? We can do all the things that everyone else is being encouraged to do. But as Christians, we can also pray for government action against illegal logging. We can pray for those struggling to survive due to climate change. We can pray that people will really understand the climate emergency. We can pray and support church initiatives on eco-issues and we can live out a life that honours God's creation. Remember the first verse of the Bible, Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We need to look after this planet for future generations. <laughs> 